in Roblox Brookhaven. Now, this was all because I was told by all my friends that maybe Brookhaven would be better without me. And so I decided to secretly remind them of all the great things about me until they realized that they wanted me back. Yes, yeah, subscribe. Yes, not good collection. Now, enjoy the video. Mad scientist! Mad scientist, where are you? The site, guys. Usually the mad scientist is never late to his lab. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> it looks like we're just in time. Sicko mode! Bone zone! This right, guys. I haven't seen what the mad scientist <gasps> has been up to in a really, really long time. So let's check him out. Mm -hmm. Yes! 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 My creation is almost complete! Uh, mad scientist? are you doing? Check it out, Kelly. Wow, it's amazing. Isn't it just? It's the greatest mutant ever. Well, what's its name? Jabba Jabba. That's a weird name. Anyways, didn't you say this last time before your machine exploded and flooded Brookhaven? No, this one is different. I can feel it in my bones. Wow, you must be in the bone zone. Anyways, mad scientist, why doesn't it move? It's kind of a lame looking mutant if it doesn't move. It's not completed. I just need one more thing. Oh, yeah? And what is that thing? Hmm? A heart to make it come to life. Don't you even think about it, mad scientist. This is mine for keepsies. No, not your stupid. Anyways, I'm going to get one. Stay here and don't touch anything. Understood, mad scientist. You could trust me. I am in the bone zone club. This right, the one where you wiggle your bones. This right. So guys, whatever we do, we must not touch touch anything not even just a little well um poke <laughs> jeez i'm such a rebel chum chum we did it <laughs> and the mad scientist has no idea that we snuck right past him what are you guys doing here huh you can't just break in to a dangerous laboratory oh yeah well we just did yeah and what are you gonna do about it um well I'll tell the mad scientist. Wait, Foxy, do you see the mad scientist? Nope, I just see a ton of fun things to play with. Don't you guys even think about it. You're gonna make the mad scientist real mad. Ooh, what's this? Foxy, don't. It's a scary monster. Ah! Chum Chum, get off of there. Why? It ain't even alive. Chum Chum, you can't just kick it. Come on, do something. Oh, why doesn't it move? It's because it needs a heart. Did you say fart? <laughs> no, Chum Chum, it's malfunctioning. Oh, Chum Chum, what did you do? Chum ah! Chum is on the loose. It's gonna blow. Take cover. Uh-oh, guys, this really isn't good. Do you know what? We're gonna blast, right, homie? Let's leave! Oh, come on. You guys can't leave me with this mess. Now, listen, mad scientist. What have you done? Oh, no, I, I can explain. My beautiful Jabba Jabba. It wasn't me. It was Foxy and Chum Chum. They broke in and... You expect me to believe that? It's always you. No, mad scientist. Listen, uh, follow me. They they can't have gone too far. This right. They, they gotta be out here somewhere. See, I told you. Oh, geez. He got the big angry face. Oh, Hey, Kelly! Fancy seeing you here! We had an explosion and came to see what it was right away! Guys, you really upset the mad scientist! I can't believe you would accuse us of that! Yeah, I thought we were your friends! Wait, what? Maybe if you weren't here, things would be a lot better! What the heck? You guys! Now the mad scientist hates me! You tried to telltale on us! Because you got me in trouble! A good friend would never do that! But... 
boys, maybe the mad scientist was right about you. Come on, homie, let's go. Wait, but guys, I I thought we were friends. What the heck? And now they're meeting up with Cookie. At least she likes me, right, Cookie? I don't like you, Callie. Oh, come on, guys. Why am I always the one who gets the blame? I just feel like I'm such a nuisance. Maybe this town would be better without me. I mean... Would they even miss me if I disappeared? Wait. <laughs> That's right! This gives me such a good idea. <laughs> That's right, guys. I think that I know a way to make them remember just how much of a good asset I am. Yes, yes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the day the Calixo says goodbye to Brookhaven for. Ever. And just in case they think it's a joke, I'll put this sign there and also write them a little note. <laughs> That's right, here we go. No one likes me. I'm leaving forever. Bye, sad face. That's right, letter wrote perfectly. Mwah, and now time to leave it on the side over here like that. Mm -hmm. And now, guys, we just... Wait, oh, she's there, here, quick, hide. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> and it looks like there's Cookie, Foxy, Chum Chum, and Nuke. All four of my best friends, except Clue. I can't believe you said that to him. That's what I'm saying. You're right. What I said was a little mean. You guys need to apologize, even if you don't mean it. Even if they don't mean it? That is the least sincere apology I've ever heard. Are they seriously knocking on my door? There is a sign on my door that says gone forever. Wait a minute. Foxy has just found the note, guys. Wait, what is this? Huh? That's right, guys. Open it up and take a look at what it says inside. What does it say? No one likes me. I'm leaving forever. Bye. No, Foxy. Please don't leave. No, bestie. No, that's what the letter says, dum dum. Wow, are my friends really that stupid? Well, who wrote the letter? Callie wrote it. I sure did, bozos. You mean he's left us for good? Yeah, I think so. But who's going to be the ugly one in the group now? Wait, the ugly one? Wait, why are they all looking at him? Ah, you. Sorry, homie. Quick, guys, we don't have much time. Yeah, we're going to go fight him and fast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like my plan has worked perfectly. This right, but just to make sure that they definitely fall for this, it's time to take this a little Father. Yes, yes, that's right, guys. This is the perfect disguise. <laughs> and it looks like they're just in time. Excuse me, kind sir. Yes? Have you seen our friend? Well, what does he look like? Short, fat, and ugly. Huh? And blunt. Blunt? Oh, you must mean that the really handsome tall guy with the spiky hair. No, definitely wrong person. Wait, like a pineapple? Ugh. Yes, fine. Anyways, he left on a plane earlier today. He said something about his friends being really mean to him. And so he went to find another bear, pink hat friend, chef hat friend. And cookie eating friend. I mean, there must have been a reason why he left. You guys should have treated him better. No! Wow. Oh, just stop being so dramatic. He'll probably turn up soon. It's not like he's gonna make any other friends. I agree. He's just way too wet. I just wish I never ate his spicy chips. Wait. You did what? Huh? I mean, um, nothing. Come on, Chum Chum. Let's go. What about me and Nuke? Yeah, my friends are so selfish. We need to try to find a new ugly friend to hang around with. Oh, okay. Cookie Mouse. <laughs> Guys, it looks like they, well, they don't even care that I've got. And my head is not a little like a pineapple. Thank you very much. Anyways, maybe, just maybe, I need to remind them of all the good things that I did. <laughs> this should be way too easy. The first thing that we had planned to do today is take our bikes down the Brookhaven Mountains. But it would suck if someone was to snap their brakes 
Ha! Uh oh, guys. Um, here they come. Act natural. Hi, Dan. Hi, Roxy. Wait, Dan? Since when were you blunt? Oh, rookie. I just fancy the change. And shot. Hey. Also, name's Cookie. No problems, Pookie. And there's Dum Dum and Fluke. But guys, where's your handsome friend, Kelly? Do you mean Cauliflower? No, Kelly. Seriously, do you remember his name? Well, yeah, he was in the Bone Zone. Scumoed. Are our bikes ready? Yes, yes, guys. Please come outside. Hop on your bikes. I just need to adjust one more thing. This right, guys. Perfect. Let me just do yours real quick. Nice and uh, also yours. Perfect. Chum chums and foxies and perfect. Your brakes are broken. I mean, your bikes are perfect. Now, guys, off you go. That's right. Has a good day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Guys, little do they know when they get up that mountain and try to ride down, they will have no brakes. So, I guess we should go get a first row seat. Decide! Guys, I really, really don't want to miss this. And this is what these guys get. For calling me ugly. My mama says I'm cute. Anyways, guys, let's get a good view from maybe over here and get my binoculars ready. That's right, guys. Riding up, you don't need brakes, but it's gonna be a little bit different on the way down. This right, there he goes. It looks like Nuke is leading the way. <laughs> And their brakes are totally out of control. Oh my goodness, guys. This is so good. Wait, where are they heading to? Uh oh It looks like right now they're heading towards the chicken barn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Wait, guys. Are they covered in feathers? Ha! Oh my goodness. And it looks like they just crashed on the back of the barn. Oh, oh my gosh. That was so good. Ha! Ow! My bear bomb. What happened? A Brakes didn't work. Oh, if Callie was here, he would have told us to check them. Yeah. Anyways, let's go fishing. I'm so hungry. Me too. Go fishing, huh? Guess it's time for me to bring out all oh, Brucey. He is ears. Seriously, guys, what is taking them so long? <laughs> Just in time. Arr, be careful. Danger, danger. What the heck? Who are you? Me name is Pirate R. Callie. And I'm here to warn you, Bruce be lurking in the deep depths today. Who is Bruce? Oh, you haven't heard of the We Kill a Shark, nah? No. Legend says if you seen him, it's already too late. Arr. But then, who lived to tell the tale? I don't know, but he only appears when there's only four people. If you had five, he would be terrified, but there's only four of you. Oh, jeez, at least there's five of us here. Gnarly. Wait, where did you go? Don't worry, Chum Chum. He was just a crazy old man. Yeah, there's no such thing as Bruce. But if Callie was here, there would be five of us. Yeah, and we wouldn't have to worry. Stop crying. Now let's go get lunch. Get lunch, eh? Well, it would be a shame if lunch was a giant shark. I guess they should have had five in the group. Because now they gotta deal with old Brucey. This right now time to show them. Oh, Brucey! That's right, suckers! Remember next time, five is the perfect group number! But wait, guys, that is not all. I think they still need a little more convincing. Mm, mm. I'm sorry, Arismo. I just need to borrow the cafe for a couple of minutes. That's right, now to pretend to be a little old lady. <laughs> Um, that's right, dears. Just cleaning up the old side. Oh, nice and shiny. Mrs. Penelope is here to clean the table. Oh, and it looks like my sweet little cherubs have just arrived. Wait, one is missing. Where is the fifth amigo? You mean Dizzy? Oh, uh, no, the blonde one. Clint? No, no, the funny one. The mad scientist? No, the one you guys always hang around with. Um, I mean, um... Stubby? Oh, come on! I don't know who you're talking about! Callie! I'm talking about Callie! 
<clears throat> oh! You could have said the small one. I'm not even that small. Anyways, what happened to him? He was hit by a train. Wait, what? Yeah, sad news. <laughs> Anyways, can we get four jam sandwiches? With extra jam. Oh, and with spicy chips, please. Remember not to make mine spicy. No problems, guys. Go take a seat and I'll bring it right to you. This right, guys. As you can see, their ordering skills were terrible. I would always make their order. And so when it's wrong, <laughs> and I put a little something special in there, then guys, they will realize they needed me to order for them this whole time. Ahem, four pickled eggs. Here you go, guys. What? Wait, what? That's no what we ordered. That's for the table over there, I think. Oh, no, madam. Your friend here specifically ordered this. Luke, you got it wrong! I don't usually order! If Callie was here, he would not have messed this up! Help! Help! Oh, dears, I'll be right back. No problems. That's right, guys. Don't worry. Yes, yes. Shut up, Arismo! You're going to ruin my plan! Oh, my goodness. Anyways, wait. What the... What the heck? What is happening? Why is he jumping like a fish? He's choking! Wait, wait, he's, he's choking? Someone help him! I don't know, Savior! Oh, oh, dear. Guys, help is on the way, dear! Help is on the way! That's right! Let me take it out of him! Wait a minute. He's breathing! You saved me! Oh, don't worry about it, bud. Wait, why are you guys looking at me like this? Help! Up a minute. What is it? Callie? Oh, no. I'm uh, Mrs. Penelope. Wait a minute. I shook off my disguise. Dave? I mean, Callie? Seriously? No, oh, guys, listen. It's been you this whole time. Yes, but you never left. You tried to make us realize what we missed. Now, listen, guys. I I can explain. I am um, Callie. Huh? We missed you so much. Group hug! Ow! Nook! Anyways, you guys really miss me? You're glad to have me back? Yeah! And you're not mad that I cut your brakes either? Wait, what? That was you too? Oh, I mean, um, nope. <laughs> Definitely wasn't me. Yes, yes. Uh-oh. Ah, guys, run! That's right. I totally forgot that I locked the Rizmo up inside of the diner. But yes, guys, that is going to be it from me today. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? As you guys can see, there's two videos on the screen right now. This one is Nuke, and this is Foxy. Again, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!